So today I am going to take a look at five releases uh, just so we can finish off the uh, Tom Baker series. So uh, what we're looking at here first is the E-Space Trilogy which actually came in this box set. So there's the box itself. So to start off, so we've got the first story in the series, Full Circle. Uh, which also introduces the character of Adric, um, played by Matthew Waterhouse, probably one of the least popular companions in Doctor Who history. Um, yeah, I don't know, just something about boy geniuses, I guess, sort of the Wesley Crusher syndrome, or whatever you want to call it. This is the one where we have the swamp creatures coming out of the swamp, sort of a uh, iconic Doctor Who moment. Uh, so the idea here is uh, the Doctor and Romana end up in a sort of parallel universe known as E-Space and for three stories they're kind of, I don't know, going through E-Space or trying to get back uh, to the regular or normal universe. But anyway, so it starts with Full Circle. Uh, then we go on to State of Decay. Or State of Decay. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite Doctor Who stories and actually I remember watching this uh, when it first aired um, on TV Ontario back when I was just a kid and this is probably one of those stories that still sticks out at the time. It kind of scared the living crap out of me. You know, I still remember the sort of coffin section or scene and all that. That's one of those things that's kind of drilled into my head. I guess that would have been around would have been about four maybe so yeah I was very young uh, when watching this one uh, so but this is the the second of the e-space uh, trilogy um, I believe this was actually a, this was uh, written by uh, Terence Dix and it actually originally had been meant to open up what I'm pretty sure is Tom Baker's fourth season but uh, they'd recently done something on uh, Dracula on uh, BBC. So instead, uh, they ended up doing Horror of Fang Rock as the opener, and this one was pushed back several years. But I'd say this is uh, definitely in the top ten of uh, Tom Baker's stories. Um, has probably one of the weirdest documentaries on there. Well, it's got tons of documentaries, but one is specifically about blood. Uh, so, yeah. Um, the Blood Show. So, uh, whatever. And then, probably one of Tom Baker's most surreal stories, probably one of the most surreal stories in the original run, <clears throat> is Warrior's Gate. Uh, so this is the story that closes off the uh, East Space trilogy. Uh, this is also the last appearance of uh, Romana and K-9 um, as regulars on the show. <clears throat> and Adric stays after this one, which, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would say, unfortunately, but uh, whatever, we'll give the kid a break. Uh, so, yeah, so Warrior's Gate, and this is the one with uh, what were they called? The Gundam robots. I don't know, these freakish looking robots. Actually, I kind of like them. Um, for that era, the, the costumes were actually probably one of the better ones. Anyways, so that is Warrior's Gate. So then we go to the Keeper of Trocken. So, and this, I should actually add, is from the New Beginnings set so right here essentially this deals with uh, the switch over from Tom Baker to Peter Davison and the return of the master and in uh, Keeper of Troc and so we see the master come back for the uh, first time since the deadly assassin um, this time played by a different actor uh, his name was uh, Jeffrey Beavers I believe or yeah, Jeffrey Beavers. Um, but anyway, so uh, he's not on the back there, but I'm just doing this from memory. Um, but anyway, so uh, this is Adric's first sort of, I guess, almost story is a single companion, although this actually introduces the character of Nyssa, uh, which doesn't actually become, or she doesn't actually become a regular in uh, this episode. Uh, she becomes a regular when she just turns up in the next story, Legopolis. Now the funny thing about the Keeper of Trocken, um is we go through this whole story saving the planet of Trocken, and then in the next story 
spoilers, but I'm sure you've probably seen this in Legopolis, the planet gets destroyed anyway, so I guess it kind of makes the the whole story kind of redundant, but oh, still uh, entertaining. Well, for these, I didn't like the uh, packaging. This is before um, Region 1 had switched to uh, sort of a uniform uh, cover style with Region 2, so here it was pretty much kind of touch and go with... Uh, the covers up until probably about 2008, I'd say, probably. Anyway, so there we go. So the Keeper of Trocken. And last but definitely not least, uh, we have Tom Baker's Swan Song, his final story, Legopolis. Uh, I should also say uh, <clears throat> Keeper of Trocken um, actually introduces Anthony Ainley in the character of Tremus, whose body is later taken over by the Master. So this is. Uh, when we next, the first time that we've had a regular actor playing the master since Roger Delgado in the 1970s, so in the guise of Anthony Ainley, and this is in Legopolis, so this is Ainley's first full story as the master. Um, also, in many ways, kind of a uh, surreal story. It's the whole thing is pretty much just a, a death march, um, if for lack of a better term, uh, for the uh, for the fourth Doctor. Um, kind of a very sort of morose depressing feel to the whole story but also this brings in uh, really in with the scientification of the uh, series you know we've got Legopolis which is a planet of mathematicians um, we've also got the TARDIS within a TARDIS concept if you've seen that where two TARDISes or one TARDIS materializes inside of another and we end up with infinite regression or whatever it is they call it <clears throat> uh, but anyway so with this video we have concluded Tom Baker's run as the Doctor so in the next part we are going to take a look at a very different take on the Doctor uh, Peter Davison so as always everyone thank you for watching